Hey, what's up, guys? Today I got a package from eBay. This is a MacBook Pro that I've been waiting for, so let's go ahead and open it up. I've always wanted one of these. I already have a lot of Macs, but for some reason I just had to have this version. So I went ahead and bought it. Whatever. Good packing. Whoops. Let me just fix this here. Okay. It's a 15 inch. It's packed okay. Could have been packed better, but. Little thank you card. Hmm, what's up, Harris? There it is. Not sure why this. Why there's that black strip? Because that wasn't on the pictures. That could be a problem. But uh, the top looks good. Bottom's good too. The sides are good. There's all the ports. Let's open it up. My first time ever typing on one of these. Boots up right away, which is good. The trackpad feels so much smaller compared to, um, you know, later MacBooks. I'm not used to that. So we got a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Cooler, Core 2 Duo, uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR2, there was no password on here. Yeah, that's that. What are we on actually? In terms of the operating system. Ten point five, so that's leopard. The brightness works. Same with the key. Let's check the battery. Seems to be in okay condition. spotlight and um, I go about my Mac here utilities it's called system profile So that's good. Won't need a new battery. I bought some RAM for it. Four gigabytes, so I'll put that in soon. I'm gonna change out the thermal paste. Um, wow, I haven't had a 15 inch MacBook for a while. Um, it's been like 15 years almost. So it's a good size for like 
know, just like web browsing and YouTube because it's a lot bigger screen. I've always had 13 inches, you know, after uh, 2012. <clears throat> so it's been quite a long time with 13 inches. But yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. I'm wondering what the hell is this black mark? Because that was not on the photos. Hmm. Not too sure why. I'm gonna look at the photos again. So I'm just looking on the, the photos here of when I bought it. Um, and yeah, I'm not seeing that black mark. Um, and that's the only photo of the front. So what I'm thinking is maybe in shipping it got, whatever this ring is, it got loose and shifted over. But um, as someone who buys things based on condition, it kind of is a problem for me, I'm not going to lie. So if I were to keep this, I will definitely message him and say, basically, it's not how I bought it. Um, and if I do keep it, you know, I'll have to get some sort of discount. Or I'll just straight up return it. Because, you know, I'm someone who's very OCD about condition. That's just how I am. And so I pay accordingly for those things to get the condition that I want. Um, I don't know. I'll see if I can somehow get this over. I don't know, though, because I don't think the screens really open up like that. I'm pretty sure when you replace them, uh, I guess they do open up, but it'd be a bit of a job. But anyways, other than that, I mean, it's nice. I like it. Good condition overall. The sides are good. There's a little dent in the corner. But other than that, it's actually really good. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is my MacBook Pro Titanium early 2008 unboxing. Okay, guys, so back to the Titanium 2008, early 2008 MacBook Pro. I just had to do a huge, huge job and literally pry apart the LCD screen. Uh, I was able to do it though, um, because all because of this, because this freaking thing wasn't centered and it looked retarded because there's like lines. So now I finally have this. Uh, I just need to place it <laughs> centered and uh, I'll pop the screen back on, glue it all up again. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. It was very hard. Um, there was a lot of small cords. I could tell this has never been taken apart because all the tape was in place. So yeah, I was able to do it. A little bit of a scary job. Um, but uh, hey, we did it. Kind of proud of myself. It's like the seller owes me a bit of a refund for having to do all this work because I could have just complained and uh, returned it. It would have cost him a lot to ship it back. There's the keyboard. So nice. So yeah, um, I'm going to put this in properly. That way uh, this issue doesn't happen again. Uh, see, it was disgusting. It was like this. So you saw like a black line on the Apple logo. So yeah, I'm going to tape this back up and I'll be right back. Finally, I got it done. Got it taped up there along the edges. It's not going nowhere. As you can see, it's looking. I mean, look at that. Perfect. That was a lot of work. Taking off the screen. Okay, let me put it back now. Right, got the screen popped back on. Looking good. No more freaking black line, bro. Come on. And this is perfect. So now I'm going to put it back together. Let's put this guy here. <clears throat> and this one here. There's a will, there's a way. Okay, I'm gonna... All right, guys, we are back. It took me about almost three hours 
but I, I fixed the uh, problem there. So I had to do quite a bit of work. Um, I had to take apart the whole thing, um, take off the LCD screen, and then the hardest part, that, you know, obviously there was a bunch of little cables you had to detach, all that stuff, a bunch of screws, about like 30 screws. Um, and then the hardest part was once you had the screen off, then you had to pry apart here all the way up. And it, it's quite hard because you don't want to damage it or, you know, potentially crack this. So it definitely took, you know, quite a lot of patience and time to do it, but uh, I did do it. You know, uh, then I had the back panel off, obviously. I retaped it. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look. I'll have to uh, reset this too. There we go. The beautiful leopard. Wow. In all its glory. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the apple. As you can see, perfect. I cleaned it up. <clears throat> The, uh, the white that's uh, like it's like a thin sheet of plastic I cleaned it up so it looks mint yeah just look how good the top is I paid you know top dollar for this thing on eBay because I wanted a good one um, <clears throat> and then at the bottom I put these rubber things because I think two of them right here you can see it's missing so I did this for now until I can get a you know whatever a replacement but they don't really sell those on Amazon anymore I only saw like one listing on eBay for them and it was like 30 bucks which is for only two as well which is just you know ridiculous the silver keyboard is just too nice why did it just turn off though that is so weird hmm interesting I wonder if there's a, like a cable that's not connected. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Well, hopefully not. But yeah, the, the keyboard is good to type on. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not used to the keys being so Close, you know, we're used to the, the space apart now. Whoops, I didn't mean to turn that on. But uh, yeah. Hmm. I'll have to look into why the backlight's not working. But yeah, at least I, I solved this for now. I'm happy about that. Took like time now. Time out of my day. So I have some things coming. Uh, I have RAM that should be here any day now. Two sticks of two gigabytes, so I'll make it four. Maybe I'll do six total later. And then I'm gonna buy an SSD, so I'll do a video of me upgrading it in that way. Um, the battery's good for now. Um, and then since this is a 2.4 gigahertz, uh, logic board, I was potentially going to buy a 2.6 logic board if I can either find a parts computer or just the board itself cheap, but they, they usually list them for quite a bit on eBay, so like I'm not going to pay two or $300 for one, which is just insane. But yeah, if I can find a 2.6 or even a 2.5, but it's probably just better to get the 2.6 all for a good enough price, I'll do that and then switch it out. So it's, you know, top spec. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace.